Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, this is going to be a real short video. First of all, I'm smoking this little Italian basket pipe that I got from my local tobacco merchant. And in it, I am smoking some Autumn Sunset. I'm almost out, uh, which is another local Brent blend from my local tobacco merchant. You know, when it comes to pipe tobacco, I'm all about the aromatics, and I just love the smell of this. The aroma is, I get compliments on it all the time. And, um, I'm going to share something with you that I saw online and I thought that that's a cool idea. I need to do that. Now I usually grow a beard in the winter time. I usually start in the fall and grow it through all in the winter. And then when summer gets around I'll shave the beard and just keep the mustache in this little soul patch. Right, uh, Soul Patch is going hard on that base. What did I tell you? Uh -huh. hey, encore, man. <laughs> but during the winter months, I like to have a beer. Before I get into the main part here, a couple of products I want to share with you. And for you guys that have beards, if you're not familiar with these products or you don't use them, I highly recommend them. The first is Cremo Beard and Scruff Softener. Now you can apply this daily or as needed. And it helps to soften your beard. If you don't use any other kind of conditioner in your beard, then this is a good thing to do. But I've also found that this makes the beard nice and soft and subtle just the way the ladies like it. So yeah, Cremo Beard and Scruff Softener. After I apply that, I, uh, I like to put some beard oil in there. And I use the Cremo brand again, beard oil. And again, apply it daily or as needed. And what it does is it gives a really nice feel to your beard and it gives it a little bit of a little bit of sheen and just a little glow. Again, though just the way the ladies like it. So those are two products that I use, you know, on my beard so that it doesn't get all wiry and scruffy and itchy and just look out of control. Anyway, that's not the main thing that I wanted to talk about. Man, I really love the aroma of this autumn sunset. Uh, what I want to uh, talk about, let me get it here, is for my beard, uh, I use a beard comb, and the, the comb that I chose is uh, by, of course, Cremo. That's my favorite beard product brand. But um, this is the beard comb that I have. It, again, it's Cremo. You can barely make out the uh, insignia in there. It's made out of sandalwood, okay? Um, and it has broad teeth on the top and then finer teeth on the bottom. After you apply the beard oil to your beard, I forgot to mention that, when you apply the beard oil, you want to use a beard comb to comb it and make sure that you get that beard oil evenly disputed and distributed 
throughout your beard. So uh, I left out that step, but uh, it's a great uh, beard comb. It's made out of sandalwood. The thing I like about it is, it is it absorbs smells. Now, when you first buy it, they say it has the aroma of sandalwood. I didn't really pick that up. It didn't really have much of a, a smell or an aroma to it. What I saw on a video and what I have done since that video is this. If I smell this, and I know you can't, go ahead and take a whiff. But if you could smell this, let me put my pipe down. It smells now like my one of my favorite aromatic blends of tobacco, Autumn Sunset. Because what I've done, and what I would recommend to you guys who smoke pipes and you like, or even if you don't smoke pipes, if you just like the way pipes smell and you have a beard, I would recommend this. Now, if you don't have a beard, you probably don't have a beard comb. So, like I say, this is a limited audience. But, take your beard comb, put it in a Ziploc bag, along with some of your favorite aromatic, aromatic tobacco. And then just let it sit there. Let it sit there for a couple of weeks. Or, just let it sit there when you're not using it. And what happens is, of course, over time, it didn't take long. I only did it for about four days before I noticed. Now, when you take the comb out of the bag, you have to knock it a little bit to get all the little bits of tobacco out of there so you don't walk around with bits of tobacco in your beard. When you do that, put it in a Ziploc bag with your favorite tobacco. Now, it has the aroma of your favorite tobacco. And when you put that through your beard, you get some of that aroma of your favorite tobacco, just the way the ladies like it. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, a little tip that I learned, and uh, that's what I love about YouTube. People sharing ideas and sharing experiences and things. I know I always say it, but I truly mean it. I thank you all who all have subscribed to my channel. I really do. Got a lot going on this week. Tomorrow I'm going to play golf at a new golf course that I haven't played since the 90s. Looking forward to that. And then this weekend we're going on a big family camping trip up to Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. I just wanted to share with you guys that idea about the uh, the wooden beard comb in the tobacco. If you are a guy that likes tobacco, like I do, and you have a beard, try it. So, uh, I hope you found this video interesting. I know it's kind of out of the norm of my regular outdoor stuff, but till next time, Keep calm, carry on, and keep puffing.